everybody and welcome to Sports of Ricardo Live. When we get right to the National High School Basketball Tournament is in the history as far as day one is concerned. I had a lot of fun with this one. Day one of the Bahamas National High School Basketball Tournament was exciting. The C.I. Gibson Rattlers took on the Jack Hayward Wildcats. The Rattlers came out on top of this one. The score for you, 54 to 44. Kevin K.J. Johnson took the win. But if you talk to Shaky Hall, He'd like to see his team step it up. Just needed to be more aggressive. Just understand the game, the pace of the game. Uh, understand what the Jack Hayward was throwing at us and just execute our game plan. I know I got some kids that got some fight in them and I'm sure they won't, they won't quit. So um, I'm going to keep coaching as hard as I can and they're going to keep, I, I'm sure they're going to keep playing as hard as they can. The CC Sweeting Cobras also came in as the champion for the Hugh Campbell and got a 54-32 win over Telios. They now got to move on to play C.I. Gibson. How does the coach feel about it? No problem for us. We'll be prepared and ready for them. Uh, we expect them to give us a fight. It's always a dog fight when the Cobras and Rattlers hit on the floor. So that is expected. Uh, we didn't come down here just to play basketball and go home empty-handed. We came down here to try and do our best to ensure that we put our best foot forward each and every night on the floor. And once that is done, we expect to be successful. In other games for you, Tabernacle defeated Anna Rogers 43-28, San Lan with a 54-40 win over R.M. Bailey, St. George's over Jordan Prince Will 48-46, and Abaco Central with the shocker with Doris Johnson 49-48. Another scores for you uh, from the Island Division. Uh, BMES uh, over Cat Island 53 to 50. Mary Star over South Andrews 49 to 38. And Ake Morag defeated North Andrews 52 to 29. Also, girls, uh, Doris Johnson defeated Mary Star 43 25. And Sam Gibson getting by Tabernacle 41 to 32. CL Walk over Telios 48 to 40. Also, primary schools are into the playoffs as well. Needed Orkady, uh, Nico Grant League. It is uh, Lewis Yard girls defeating Bishop Michael Eldon now 14 to 4. Maurice Moore close out Martintown 10 0. Sunland with a good one as well, 6-4 over Holmes Rock as well. Well, let me tell you that the Grand Bahama Gymnastics team is home from another international meet. That's a very good result. Let's go to Kimberly Mullings for that. We took 30 team members and the competitions were the Magical Classic and the Presidential and they were held at Disney World. Kim Nesbitt, coach and co-owner of the Grand Bahama Gymnastics Academy, says this was the most difficult competition for the team yet. There was 13 different countries there competing from all over the world. There was over 3,100 athletes um, competing in the gymnastics competition. Our um, girls and boy performed extremely well. We came home with 130 medals. Uh, we were able to secure some team placings and we also got quite a few first overalls. Nesbitt added that the team did exceptionally well at the Magical Classic and the Presidential. Level 4 placed 4th, Level 3 2nd, and Level 1 placed 4th overall. It was quite overwhelming at first for them to see so many athletes from so many different countries competing. Um, but they pulled it together and, you know, some of the girls competed back to back. So it was tough for them. It was very tiring, but they did very, very well. Savannah Gardner won a number of individual medals and says although this was the team's second time participating at their current levels internationally, she's pleased with the results. It's an opportunity to get used to um, competing in the States. Um, we did, we did um, very well for our second time competing in the inside Florida. Um, we had lots of fun and I felt like everybody did their best. Kimberly Mullings, Zedna Soul Sports. Way to go, girls. Well, the Bahamas Baseball Federation Nationals will be coming back to Grand Bahama this year. New president of the BBF mandate is laid out. Baseball in Grand Bahama is at an all-time high, and the 2016 season will be just as exciting. As the opening of the Grand Bahama Little League season, President of the Bahamas Baseball Federation confirmed, that's Teddy Sweeting, that the Nationals will be back on Grand Bahama for yet another year. You know, Grand Bahama has always been a catalyst in that, in that regard. Um, Last year they won three of the divisions in the, in the national championships and that's the coach pitch, the 9-10 and the 13-15 division. Uh, so I know they're looking forward to coming back to nationals, um, hosting nationals and also to, um, to be champions once again in various categories. It's going to be difficult, you know, we're looking forward to having everybody here in the nationals this year. With the legacy, Grand Bahama Little League and Rising Stars taking development of boys and girls as a priority, the BBF is excited with the national scope of the game. Under my leadership, I'm going to make sure that we capture it all. 
Um, we have some national team trips. We have a, we have already set up a national team committee, which is going to be which is going to set up all of our national travels. Um, we're going to work along with uh, with the. Bahamas Baseball Association in respect of these national teams and getting them to, to travel under the correct um, um, organization in, in respect of signing of all the documentation. So that's that's the pivotal for us, but we are going to send off national teams this year in our senior division as well as in the, in the youth divisions. The potential is there for stars to rise in the game of baseball. The potential is there for future advancement for young people socially, spiritually, and economically. And don't forget, more than the right championships comes the Grand Bahama Cuckoos will uh, be playing Freeport and the Spence Cooper Memorial Golf Tournament Sunday. It's going to be at Fortune Hills, but in time change, it's going to be right up your alley. That's a look at your sports on this Friday.